So in this video, we will take a look at performance testing. Uh, what is performance testing and uh, why performance uh, testing is needed for uh, projects or products and uh, what are the parameters uh, that we measure uh, for success of performance testing. So let us see what is performance testing. Right. Performance testing is a software process used for testing the speed, response time, uh, stability, reliability, scalability and resource usage of a software application. So it basically uh, it will be used to test uh, response time, reliability, scalability, scalability in the sense how many users it will support, does it support 100 users, 1000 users, 5000 users, things like that. Uh, resource usage, how much resources it is using, like what is the hardware, how much CPU it is using, how much memory it is using. So all these parameters are uh, tested in the performance testing. Right. So the main purpose of performance testing is to identify and eliminate performance bottlenecks in the software application. So it is basically a subset of performance engineering, also known as perf testing. Right? So that is the basic performance testing. So basically the importance of performance testing is, um, so we need to do performance testing before the product goes to market. Right? Without performance testing, software is likely to suffer from issues such as running slow while several users are using. Right? So, inconsistence across different operating systems and uh, poor usability, right? It may have problems uh, with the when running across uh, different operating systems like Windows, Mac or mobiles, things like that. Also, performance testing will determine whether the software meets the speed, right? Does it uh, has enough speed uh, to perform, does it do a scalability? So does it work for uh, number of users is supposed to work uh, stability, right? So when there is more users uh, logged into the system, is the system is uh, stable and uh, uh, working uh, working well, right? Under different workload, under expected workloads, right? So applications sent to market with poor performance metrics uh, due to non-existence or poor poor performance testing. Uh, are likely to gain bad reputation, right? So people will not be able to use the application and they may get bad reputation and uh, the product may not perform well in the market, right? Also, there is mission critical applications like uh, space launch programs or life saving medical equipment uh, should be performance tested to ensure they run for long period without deviations, right? So these kind of uh, programs, uh, performance testing is compulsory. So what are the various kinds of uh, performance testing? So we have like load testing, stress testing, endurance testing, spike testing, volume testing and scalability testing. So let us look at one by one. What is load testing, right? Load testing checks the application ability to, to perform under anticipated user loads, right? So say, suppose, say, if application is supposed to work at um, 1000 users at the same time, so we need to test the application by simulating 1000 users, right? So that is called load testing. So the, basically the objective is to identify performance bottlenecks before the software application goes live. So that is load testing. So what is stress testing? So it involves testing an application under extreme workloads to see how it handles high traffic data processing, right? So this is basically, suppose the application is designed for 1000 users. So we're going to test for 2000 users, 3000 users and see how the application works, right? So we're going to uh, test the maximum capacity or uh, maximum load on the application to see where the application breaks, right? So that is called stress testing, right? Then endurance testing. This is done 
to make sure that software can handle expected or over a long period of time right so so maybe we'll uh, do we'll have we'll set up some user load and uh, test it for two to three days right so endurance testing so that means like is it is the application so able to sustain the performance over a long period of time so that is called endurance testing right then there is something called spike testing like suddenly there is a increase in the number of users how the software reacts that is like spike testing there is something like if 10 people are using normally suddenly if we increase it to 1000 people how the software behaves right that is spike testing so then volume testing right under volume testing large number of data is populated to the database and the overall software system behavior is monitored right so we want to test with a lot of data under volume testing so the object of object is to check software application performance under varying database volumes right then scalability right so the object of scalability is to determine software applications effectiveness in scaling up to support an increase in user load right so how this uh, so scalability testing test how this uh, is the application able to scale and there is uh, more number of users are added right thousand users two thousand three thousand four thousand so so is it scalable right um, so this is kind of a architecture point of view right we're going to test the scalability of the application so these are the various uh, performance uh, testing criteria so based on the project requirement and um, uh, definition uh, these kinds of tests not all the tests will be performed so it will be decided in the project plan test plan what are the tests that needs to be done and those will be implemented right so these are some of the uh, parameters that we monitor let me see if we can make it bigger a lot of data okay that is like 24 going out okay so we'll make it i will make it smaller so you can uh, watch the video uh, watch this uh, ppt so you can watch the text so let's look at uh, load timings right so load time what is load time right so load time is normally initial time to take an application to start right so this is the load time right so when you start the application how long does it take to get started or like the login page comes so once you click on login when the dashboard will display right that is a load time right so you should not have like long load time so this should be generally kept to a minimum while some applications are impossible to make load under a minute load time should be kept under few seconds that is the guideline right then poor response time what is the response time response time is the time it takes from when a user inputs data into application until the application outputs a response to the input like it should be very quick um, so something like a login function or you are loading some form we are submitting a form then you click submit and once the form is submitted how much time does it take so that is the response time scalability poor scalability so these are the things we we look at while doing performance testing right a scalability a software product suffers from poor scalability when it at, it cannot handle expected number of users or when it does not accommodate wide enough range of users right so it is not able to handle like uh, 500 or 1000 users so that is called poor scalability then bottlenecking so bottlenecking is basically obstructions in a system which degrade overall performance right so it can be hardware issues 
it can be memory issues right cpu issues right maybe some section of the code is slow which is causing the overall system to slow down so these are some of the uh, testing bottleneck testing something like cpu utilization memory utilization network utilization so operating system limitations um, disk uses uh, these are the things these are the some of the things we normally look at while doing performance test like loading times response times scalability uh, what are the bottlenecks in the system uh, things like that right so these are also some other uh, so when you're doing performance testing so we need to prepare these uh, 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 pre criteria for performance testing so identifying your test environment right so we should have like a physical test environment which is similar to production environment and uh, the tools uh, that will be used uh, for the performance testing so this is important right so identifying the performance acceptance criteria so right? we need to identify the performance acceptance criteria such as load timing response timing so how much resources should be allocated how many users we need to simulate and things like that so we need to come up with performance acceptance criteria then we're going to plan and design performance test right so we have to design performance test in a way to test the load timings response timings um, resource utilization things like that so we need to come up with um, performance and design uh, performance test plans uh, test cases right so so we are just giving a, a, a overview of what is performance testing so to do actual performance testing and performance scenarios is an entirely different process uh, it's a different totally different topic so once you master the manual testing you may look into this uh, performance testing right you need to read more about performance testing Right. So we have to configure the test environment before execution. Also, we will be using some tools and uh, things to simulate users and all. So we need to set up some tools. Right. Implement test design. So create performance tests as per the test design. Run the test. Execute and monitor the test. Then analyze the results. Right. So consolidate, analyze and share the test results. So then fine tune and test again to see if there is an improvement or decrease in the improvement right since the improvement generally grows smaller with each retest stop when bottlenecks are caused by cpu suppose you are trying to increase the number of users um, for each test so after a certain point the machines or cpus get uh, a peak utilization right so then you need to stop increasing the load of the test so we're going to do multiple tests in the performance and we will measure the response time for each test then based on the metrics we will uh, update the performance criteria for the application right unlike the functional test there is only one iteration done uh, performance testing you're going to do multiple iterations to identify system performance under different conditions that is the performance testing process right so these are the some of the criteria so we're going to check during performance testing right verify response time is not more than four seconds when thousand users access the website simultaneously right so when thousand users access so response time should be less than four seconds right so verify the response time of application under load is within an acceptable range when network connectivity is slow so this is one of the acceptance criteria uh, check the maximum number of users that application can handle before it crashes so this is another criteria uh, check database execution when 500 records are read or written simultaneously this is another criteria uh, check CPU and uh, memory usage of application and database server under peak load conditions. Right? Or uh, verify response time of application under low, normal, moderate, and heavy load conditions. So these are some of the performance criteria. 
we will be testing a cross now for performance test right these are the some of the parameters so that will monitor like processor usage right uh, memory usage right disk time bandwidth uh, private bytes uh, top weights, right? Thread count, garbage collection. So these some of the, these things are related to programming. So you should have some programming background to do performance testing and all that. So I'm just giving some parameters that are monitored during uh, performance testing as an example, right? And here are some of the tools that will be used for performance testing. So one is Load Ninja. Uh, this is a new tool, uh, revolutionizing the way we load test. This is cloud-based uh, load testing tool that empowers teams to record and instantly play back comprehensive load tests, right? Without complex dynamic correlation and run these load tests in real browsers at scale. So, so these teams are able to increase test coverage and cut load test timings by over 60%. Uh, this is one. The Neo load is another uh, tool that's a uh, performance testing tool and uh, HP load runner is also most popular testing tool on the market today. So load runner has like a virtual user generator which simulates the actions of live human users. Right. So you can test um, uh, hundreds of thousands of users uh, under real life load conditions using this HP load runner. And there is JMeter. So this is one of the leading test tools for web and mobile applications. So the performance testing is entirely a different process and uh, we need to master some of these tools to do performance testing. So this is basically a overview of uh, what is performance testing and what is involved uh, in performance testing. So go through these slides and uh, if you have any questions you can discuss in our sessions.